this is Robin Norgren, and the podcast is called Montessori Creativity and the Meaning of Life. I was reading through um, by, um, Bible study devotion uh, by Eugene Peterson called Solo, and today's was pretty striking to me, and I thought I'd share it with you. The title is called Self-Examination. It's your, here's what it says. And it's taken from Proverbs 10, 22 to 32. God's blessing makes life rich. Nothing we do can improve on God. An empty head thinks mischief is fun. But a mindful person relishes wisdom. The nightmares of the wicked come true. What the good people desire, they get. When the storm is over, there's nothing left of the wicked. Good people, firm on their rock foundation, aren't even phased. A lazy employee will give you nothing but trouble. It's vinegar in the mouth, smoke in the eyes. The fear of God expands your life. A wicked life is a puny life. The aspirations of good people end in celebration. The ambitions of bad people crash. God is solid backing to a well-lived life. But he calls into question a shabby performance. Good people last. They can't be moved. The wicked are here today, gone tomorrow. A good person's mouth is a clear fountain of wisdom. A foul mouth is a stagnant swamp. The speech of a good person clears the air. The words of the wicked pollute it. Stand in front of a mirror and think through these passages. You can rewind the recording and just listen and look in your mirror and stare at yourself in the mirror, standing motionless. As you think about each verse as it comes through the speaker, Look in the mirror and whisper, God, is this me? Allow time for God to prompt truths in your heart. Some of these thoughts may be hard to hear. If God brings to mind specific areas where you have failed, ask him to forgive you. If God brings to mind areas where you can grow, ask him to help you mature as you follow him. If God brings to mind ways in which you are living faithfully, thank him for his grace in your life. Here's one prayer that I put together. God, I want to be a good person who is not even phased by the storm. I want my aspirations to be good. I want to be a good person who can't be moved. I want my mouth to be a clear fountain of wisdom. I want my speech to clear the air.